Hey, welcome back to Twin Cities Live. We loved our time on the Big Island, but if you cannot jump on a plane, we get it. We do have the next best thing, however. You can dine at a Minnesota restaurant full of Hawaiian mm, flavors. It looks so good. So reporter Kristen Hobrick visit Pauhana in Savage when they first open and shows us their tasty island cuisine. Chris, it's hard to believe, but we are standing in a former Perkins yeah, right that's now. Right. <laughs> that's not the bakery case. No, not that anymore. It is a big yeah. wood fire oven. Yep, absolutely. A couple tons. We had to punch a hole through the wall just to be able to get it in. Your dad owned the Perkins that yeah, was here and built it. It's kind of a wild story, but yeah, I opened this with my dad back in 2005 as a Perkins restaurant. And did so. he put you to work? Oh yeah, like? right away. <laughs> yeah, I've been working in the restaurants at the Perkins when I was 14 years old. We got some tasty drinks here for you today. They look delicious. Awesome, <laughs> yeah. This one's one of my favorites. This is our Mai Tai. Okay. So in here we have our rum blend. We do fresh pineapple, passion fruit or jot, some fresh lime juice. Do a dark room float on top. <laughs> and we serve it with our I feel straw. like I've been transported to the islands. Yeah, you get that island vibe. A little pineapple slice in there. This is our Asian slaw with uh, seared ahi tuna. So we have a mix of Napa cabbage, oh. snow peas, uh, fresh avocados. And we have the seared ahi tuna on top. We toss that all together with a shoyu vinaigrette or like a soy sauce vinaigrette. Not only do you own this restaurant, you're also the head chef. Too. So where did you learn your culinary skills? After I graduated from University of St. Thomas with an entrepreneurship degree, I went to the Culinary Institute of New York out in uh, Hyde Park, New York. Uh, and then from there, I did an apprenticeship out at the Four Seasons in Hawaii. So that's and where that's the love where the, for yeah. Hawaii comes in. Yep. How and long were you in Hawaii? Um, for total time, almost a decade. And that's also where you met your wife? Yep, I met my wife. Uh, my daughter was born there. A lot of our family still out there. Yeah. So, yeah, so Hawaii is really a special piece yeah. of your heart. No, definitely. This one is kind of a favorite of mine. This is our our version of a margarita pizza. Oh, look at that swirl, though. That's, yeah. uh, is that pesto? Yep. So we have a macadamia nut pesto that we drizzle around the entire pizza. Uh, and then all the you know standard ingredients that you have on a margarita, mm -hmm. fresh red sauce, mozzarella, and uh, the basil to kind of tie it all together. And so, so many different pizza toppings and flavor options. Yep, yeah, and all of those kind of tie back to the, the Hawaiian regional cuisine too. We have the, you know, our, our vegetarian pizza here, the Aina, mm -hmm. um, that's charred broccolini with a miso vinaigrette, uh, also some macadamia nut pesto on there, and then our uh, uh, shoyu pizza, but that's uh, shoyu braised beef, which is kind of shredded all over the whole pizza there. What was it that drew you and said, to say, I want to dream and have a restaurant with Hawaiian feel someday. Yeah, I, I think it's just such a unique cuisine, like Hawaiian regional cuisine in general. Um, you have a lot of different cultures that came to the islands during the sugarcane plantation days mm -hmm. and brought with them their different cooking techniques, different ingredients, and different backgrounds, and they all melded together to form this cuisine, which is still fairly new. Um, but just it's so a wonderful cool. melting and it's a, pot. Yeah, it's such fresh huge food. melting pot, and it's a big sandbox to play in. Yeah. You know, you, there's there's not a lot of limits on what you can do. So mm -hmm. that's what's really neat. This is a showstopper. You got an egg on top. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is kind of our version of the loco moco. So loco moco is fairly contemporary Hawaiian dish. Mm -hmm. uh, it usually consists of a mound of rice, okay. uh, gravy, brown gravy, a sunny up egg, and a, a beef patty, and that's it. Doesn't okay. sound like something you'd eat in Hawaii too much, but no, the beef seems more, yeah. That more, seems like a Midwestern. Yeah, more, thing. more uh -huh. Minnesota, right? Um, so this is kind of our variation of it. Okay. We do uh, seared ahi tuna, uh, furikake sushi rice underneath. Mm. We have a Japanese green curry all the way around. We do a coconut shrimp here as well, Yum. and uh, also some chili threads on top to kind of tie yes. it together. Of course, yes. you got to have the egg on there. You got to. Yeah. You got to. Is that a patio in the back? That is that what we call the, the lanai. The yeah, lanai. Yeah. So that one's a work in progress. We should be ready here hopefully within the next month. Yeah. Uh, we've also got an express area, kind of a new deal, but basically we're trying to do like Hawaiian mixed plates. Pauhana, what does that mean in Hawaii? Pau, uh, Pauhana literally means it's slang for done with work. But in Hawaii it's really common, you know, at 2.30 on a Friday, you might uh -huh. say it's time for <laughs> Pauhana time. Let's I go. I mean, you're so. speaking our language. We're your happy hour and a half. <laughs> Mahalo. Right. 
Okay, well, this doesn't often happen, but we're eating everything. We're eating everything. Normally, we save it for, like, the big presentation we afterwards. We can't. But we can't. Uh, Chris is here, and, you know, he's showing us this beautifully plated food, first of all. It's like five-star presentation here. This is ridiculously good. I mean, this is truly bringing me back to Hawaii. So what you're looking at there is this Asian slaw salad with seared ahi tuna. It's just beautifully prepared. The details are so good and everything is so flavorful. We ate the whole poke stack, which you saw beautiful photos of in the story. That's the miso yaki salmon, kabayaki, fried wild rice, which I love the wild rice edition. 100%. Definitely a little uh, homage to Minnesota. Egg, carrot, napa cabbage, broccolini, um, and yummy little miso sauce. Yeah, there's a little egg in there. You get into that. We also have yeah. this poke stack, which is, you know, classically ahi tuna, guacamole, fried wonton, sesame. And this sriracha aioli, everybody, wow. I could put that on yeah. pretty much everything. Guys, that's half eaten. We're it is, sorry. It is half eaten. Couldn't help it. Anyway, we're going to also dig into this pie. This is delicious. Go visit Chris. He's a genius. You have to. This food is fantastic, and it's in Savage. Get after it. Pauhana is now open all day Saturdays and Sundays from 11 a.m. through dinner. They just rolled out a new spring menu. Mm. So for more information on Pauhana or to book a reservation, do it. Go to TwinCitiesLive.com. Man, this is good. Let me have some of that.